Now this aircraft looks like it has just come out from a sci-fi movie, but in reality, it has received a type certificate, a production certificate, and a standard airworthiness certificate from China Civil Aviation Authority, which means it's ready for mass production. And we might be seeing this type of aircraft flying regularly in the sky in the near future. It's the first pilotless electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to have received these safety certificates. It may look like something far from our daily lives right now, but its producer from Guangzhou believes similar aircraft are destined for mass use and that it won't be long before they are common. Its convenience will make it a mainstream mode of transportation in the future. In fact, we are very close to this reality. We already have the flying vehicles. And large corporations and governments are also advancing the building of takeoff and landing points. The low-altitude economy is a sector that China is eyeing for further development. Guangzhou local government officials say the city has the condition to turn it into a reality and that they are gradually assessing the situation to roll out supporting policies. Currently, Huangpu District has already gained a pioneering experience in the low-altitude economy, both in terms of infrastructure and policy development. We will continue to follow up and assess the effects of policy in Huangpu District and possibly draft policy measures across the entire city based on this. Other than pilotless aircraft, unmanned surface vessels, also called drone ships, can also be found in the Greater Bay Area. Like these, produced by China's first major company dedicated to developing them. The company believes they've got huge potential for a big market. Globally, there is a general movement towards replacing human labor with machines and robots. The same applies to water, and in fact robots are even more necessary on water than on land, because the marine environment is not suitable for long-term human work and habitation. The drone ship company is located in the Zhuhai high-tech industrial development zone, an area aiming to strengthen cutting-edge sectors, including robotics. Our policy objective is centered around future output targets, for example, in the field of artificial intelligence and robotics. By 2028, the plan is for this industry to exceed 30 billion yuan. Both of the companies are among the forerunners in their respective industries, but they are confident more and more developers will join them to develop products that benefit all humankind.